Okay, this was uh, a windmill farm that runs, uh, the road runs right through the middle of it, up near the Panhandle, almost into Kansas on my trip over the weekend uh, from Oklahoma City up into uh, southwestern Kansas. I was going to go see the, trying to see the, the wildflowers, the prairie wildflowers. These windmills I've seen from a distance uh, in Oklahoma down by a lot. Sill, Mount Scott. I don't believe I've ever ridden up through the middle of them. If not quite like this, if I have before, I did, that I can recall. Uh, I think I've seen it from a distance. These things are so huge, and they are really impressive to see uh, right up close like that. And so many of them, you know, you can see, you know, they're way, way out there. They go. Virtually as far as you can see. And it wasn't a very windy day. Uh, this was yesterday, Saturday, uh, March 24th. So, uh, but they're still, you know, humming along. It's, I guess, a little enough wind right there on that on that ridge. The uh, the terrain out this way is it's. I guess you call that prairie. It's uh, generally flat, some rolling. Sort of some of it, you know, it was uh, some of it was pretty interesting, you know. I mean, it wasn't all just boring and flat. Totally, there was, you know, almost kind of a desert sort of feel. Uh, I think there are some uh, sands and stuff out that way that are in that vicinity that are, uh, it's almost like a real desert. I don't know. I've heard there's sand somewhere. But anyway, I jumped off the bike and got some uh, video of those because that was pretty impressive. Took a few still shots. Uh, like I said, I'm on my way to Kansas to Lake Mead State Park, uh, and there's my campsite, and there's my tumbleweed, and then I went into town and found the Dalton Gang hideout. I had put on a Harley t-shirt that was a wanted poster and not had no idea there's my t-shirt. See, it says wanted at the top, uh, and uh, had no idea that this was the local attraction. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, tunnel that supposedly this this was their sister's house and they dug this tunnel out uh, to hide out in if uh, they needed to hide out for whatever reason. And she said that they it it was just a dirt dug tunnel and they rocked it in in the 40s, I guess. And, Turned it into a tourist attraction for them there. Not a whole lot of tourist attractions, uh, I guess, out in that part of the world. Uh, this was kind of cool, though. You know, $4. I didn't really get to spend as much time checking all the stuff out as I maybe would have. But, uh, they, were, they were about to close. I was coming in like at 4.30, after 4.30, and they closed at 5, so I was trying to not hold her up. There's probably some stuff in there to really check out. A lot of old artifacts from the period, at least. I don't know if any of them are actual, actually associated with uh, Dalton Gang, necessarily. I didn't, obviously, have time to look and verify if they were. They've got an old piano that's just like our Steinway uh, Baby Square Grand. Uh, but it's not a Steinway, and it's not in quite as good a shape as ours. The legs oh are gosh. almost identical. I'm just now discovering. Listen to me breathe. That is an almost uh, exact copy. So I'm about to kill over, don't of I? Our Steinway. Square. All those 
steps I climbed, probably. Now, I heard about this. is Dorothy's house uh, from Wizard of Oz. And uh, nobody actually told me it wasn't the real Dorothy's house from the Wizard of Oz. Which, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, eh. Not sure if I'm buying that this is the real house from the movie. And apparently it's a replica. And it's a tourist attraction. But I did find out that there's a Harley store in Liberal, Kansas that I otherwise would never have known about. And I would have purchased a t-shirt if they'd have been open. Purchased a t-shirt. But they uh, closed by the time I got there Saturday night. And then uh, they weren't open today at all. Or I would have gone back. So anyway, so I got to see the replica Dorothy's house. And uh, then I headed back to town to camp. And I think I'm fixing to do a video, a little video diary here. So I'll cut this off and let my, my thoughts be heard. I don't know if this is even able to catch me in this low light. Looks like it's getting more light from that background. Anyway, just a little video note to myself. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Camping, Kansas. Uh, this is the other Lake Mead, apparently. Not the Henderson, Nevada. Actually, it wasn't Henderson, was it? I forget the name of the Nevada town that Lake Mead is associated with. Anyway, this is the other Lake Mead, Kansas. 250 some odd miles up here. Impromptu weekend trip. Uh, had to get away. It was beautiful today. Gorgeous sun was out. It was uh, 80 degrees. Probably the warm, one of the warmest days so far this year. Sunburn, can you tell? Windburn, sunburn. Uh, I was hoping to see some prairie wildflowers. That didn't really happen. I, some, I saw a few purple. <laughs> these, other, these other riders called them weeds. Well, there's some purple weeds out there. There were some Kansas guys from further west Kansas I did get to see the Dalton gang um, sister's house hideout and a, a fake <laughs> Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz house and, and I found out that there's a Harley shop that I didn't know about in liberal Kansas so if it's open tomorrow I'll go get a t-shirt and before I head back it was beautiful riding though so that's always a good time and the bike right there uh, a little disappointed in the the wildflower scene. I thought there was going to be like prairies and wildflowers, and it's not really. <laughs> I haven't seen any yet. But I saw those purple ones, but uh, so no photos of that. Uh, how far am I recording? Two and a half minutes. Just rambling on, listening to Madonna. Maybe I'll get in the mood for Madonna's album coming out this week. I hadn't really anticipated checking it out. I haven't watched any of the videos or anything, but I used to be such a huge Madonna fan. I ought to get fired up about it, I guess. Anyway, we're listening to some Madonna. Me, myself, and I charging up our batteries. Paid the $22 for water and electricity <laughs> to tent camp, which always kills me. But it's beautiful. The weather is so nice. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow, though, so that sucks. 30 mile an hour gusts. Hopefully it's not out of the south. But it probably will be since it's warming up. Who knows? We shall see. Anyway, later. Uh, here's the campsite. Not a real uh, pretty campsite kind of a pad out here no trees but it does have water and electricity so got a fire charcoaler 
no trees over here. There are trees over here, though. I actually should have gotten some video of the sunset on uh, the plains that I came across just now trying to get here, but I was in a bust-ass hurry to get here before it got chilly and before my the sun went down. I had my sunglasses on, not my transition lens prescriptions. So there are plenty of, these are all primitive sites down there. No electricity, no water. Which I could have got by for $11.20 on one of those and then stolen electricity and water. But I thought I was getting busted on for being a vagrant anyway. So from you know who. So I, caught, I ponied up the 21, 22 bucks to tent camp. Whatever. It's clean. And this little picnic table here. All my goodies. My some of my usual. Yeah. Got going on the iPod. I don't know how well this is gonna show up with no light. Or an HD video magazine. Headlamp. Left my big Nalgene, Nalgene, however you say it, water bottle at work, so I had to bring a little one. Thankfully, I got the other one. We're just hanging out, enjoying it. Fairly peaceful. Anyway, better than it was at home. I'll tell you that much. That shit was about to drive me crazy. Even more crazy. This is it. Got the, my nearest neighbor is way down there. I don't think I'm disturbing anybody too much. Okay, one of the highlights of being out in the middle of nowhere was that the stars were very bright, as you can see. I did a 15 second exposure with the, the G12 on the Gorilla Pod and uh, made a fun little experiment. Look at all those stars. It's pretty cool. There's the next morning. Getting ready to pack all that stuff back on the bike, and I found uh, a little patch of the what wildflowers they did have, the prairie wildflowers, and just jumped off the bike, and I didn't spend very much time in trying to get these shots. I just shot a bunch of random shots and hoped something came out. And Actually, a few of them came out not too bad, so it's pretty proud of that and then here's another windmill farm a really cool one uh, with this green grass you're fixing to see some pretty cool video here shortly Awesome lens hood that I purchased for my video camera that uh, I thought looked so cool. I, this was the first that I've discovered that it uh, produces what they what they call uh, the vignetting. Uh, whenever it zoomed in, apparently on that purple fringe around the edges, uh, that's a product of the lens hood. It's not the camera. I this is the first I've discovered that. Uh, that it does that. I haven't used it very many times since I purchased the lens hood. It was a cheap, super, super cheap lens hood. Uh, 
not specifically made for the camera, which probably is. Uh, that's, that's probably the reason. Anyway, here's an otherwise pretty cool slow pan across this field of... I, I'm sure that's not actual. That may not be grass. It, it may be grass. I don't know. Maybe some kind of alfalfa or crop or something. I don't know. Not a farmer. Couldn't tell you what it is, but... Uh, it was pretty, pretty green, you know, spring, the rains that we've had got it really green and those big white giant windmills, uh, there was a pretty healthy wind today, this was taken today, uh, south winds, you know, uh, 10 miles an hour or so, and then I took a run by, uh, just randomly, uh, ran into this uh, state park, Can Canon, Canton. I'm not sure exactly. And uh, what do you know? But it, there's these groundhogs. I guess these are wildflowers, purple, white, yellow. Exactly what I was looking for the whole weekend, and I just randomly jumped, uh, stopped by. Uh, well, maybe not exactly, but you know, the best that I'd seen on the whole trip. Uh, and not only the wildflowers, but the, uh, what are these, groundhogs? I don't even know. They were cute, though. Look at them. Look at them. They're all fired up. I, they, they're, I guess, upset that I'm in their neighborhood. <laughs> Check them out. There's a bunch of them out there, too. But I thought that was cool. It was the, you know... I didn't... I should have taken some still shots of those little, those little flowers, actually. I didn't... I was kind of... You know, all of these shots are like... Me jumping off the bike. I, I've been riding, it, you know, a total of 600 miles on this trip. And, uh... It's, uh... You know, just kind of a jump off the bike, whip out the camera, and got my leather jacket on, and, and uh, that that's probably part of the reason why I was breathing so heavy earlier, is that I was trying to carry all my valuables with me, uh, and the camera, shooting the camera, and, you know, uh, so these aren't anything to brag about, but cool little shots of it, right? That was a pretty cool find, I thought. I was pretty happy to find that. Alright. Uh, 603 odd miles total. Uh, just kind of an impromptu trip that I just last minute decided to go on. The weather was going to be beautiful and, you know, got a lot of sun. And it certainly was a, it was a beautiful weekend to ride. So I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, got to see a part of the country I'd never seen before. So, you know, it was interesting. There's a lot of some, uh, interesting terrain that I should have probably got video of because it's different than anything you'll see around here in this uh, immediate vicinity. So I didn't, though, you know, kind of rushed, and it's kind of a pain to break out the camera and, and shoot everything you see. So anyway, I got a few good shots there. Maybe somebody will enjoy watching. Uh, I certainly enjoyed myself. Got in some good riding. Uh, any weekend I could do 600 something miles or more. It's it's a good weekend for me to get away and and uh, get a break from being in the city.